huge taste profile to it. No, he isn't talking about wine, he's talking about H2O. And he's just one of the beverage experts we've got on tap. First up, a water sommelier. It took me five years to literally like understand the whole business of water, the whole springs of water. I tasted maybe over a thousand different springs so far. Certified by the German Water Trade Association, Martin Rees is the first water sommelier in the country. Water sommelier is a gentleman who is thirsty all the time and loves to talk about water. Second, perk up with a coffee sommelier. Cube graders are pretty passionate coffee people. Infusion coffee and tea owner Patrick O'Malley is no exception. To become a Q grader, he went through an intense three-day process of 22 tests. Q stands for quality. You drink thousands of cups of coffee. For him, there's a gold standard. I like jammy, big fruit, lots of different types of acid, uh, acidic tones in the coffee. And a coffee sin. In my view, over-roasting coffee is... Uh, should be against the law. <laughs> Last, sip it up with a tequila sommelier. Tequila, you have your party side, your salt and lime side, but you also have your very sophisticated side, but there's still a fun edge to it. Fairmont Princess's tequila expert, Katie Schnur, just has one rule. If you're having a nice aged tequila, sip that bad boy like you would sip a hot cup of coffee or a fine bourbon or scotch. One of only about 30 people certified by the Tequila Regulatory Council in Mexico, she knows what she's talking about. Tequila, you can strictly make it from the Blue Weber Agave, and it has to be made in five regions down in Mexico. Not into straight tequila? Well, head to Instagram and follow The List TV for step-by-step -step video on how to make this mimosa alternative. Going beyond the wine glass on the to-do list.